okay, so you you think it's okay for you to be pregnant by my husband? I didn't say it was okay. What I'm saying is he was there for me. He was helping me. Was okay. Out of all the men like, in the world, you sleep with my husband. He was the only one that made me feel good at the time. So you need to get your stuff and get That's out. Fine. Get your stuff and get out of my house. The yeah. principle of the whole situation, you don't sleep with your daughter's husband. Because I'm done with y'all. I'm just done with y'all. I just can't believe you would do that to me. Yes, I am. I'm recording this. Hey, everybody, I'm recording this because my mom and I can't do it. That's why. Yeah, man, you know, this one here crazy. It's probably a skit, but here's the thing. People make skits based on real life events, man. Somebody somewhere in the world then found themselves in a predicament like this one. Let's watch it. You just told me. Tell them what you just told me. Mom, it's not this serious. No, life. tell them what you just told me about my husband. Okay, so I slept with him, but- Okay, and what else? And what else? And what else? Okay, so you, you think it's okay for you to be pregnant by my husband? I didn't say it was okay. What I'm saying is he was there for me. He was helping me. He was taking Helping care. you do what? But I couldn't help you with. Yeah, pick, pick, taking me to, to go to school, college, all that. Buying me stuff that I needed because you wasn't doing it so so, so I wasn't. I, you basically saying that I wasn't there, so you decided to sleep with my husband. Ma, I don't know what it's that, that, Hey, y'all know this happens in real life, right? Women do some foul shit and then they completely disregard accountability, bro. It's that simple. Well, I was going through a rough patch in my life and that's why I slept with your husband. Well, I was upset and that's why I let your best friend smash while you were away on business. Well, I was really, really feeling depressed. That's why I went to the club, got drunk, and had a gangbang. I'm just saying, bro, like this, stu this stuff happened in real life. <laughs> that's extreme, but I'm just saying. Don't okay. Out of all the men in the world, you sleep with my husband. It's the only one that made me feel good at the time, so I don't, I don't know what else you want me to say. What this cap. What, what do you mean? And you think you're going to keep this child? Why would I not? So you want me to abort my child? It's my husband. Oh, why would your husband sleep with me? That shouldn't matter. It shouldn't matter what my husband do, but it should have been with you. What you you're you're my child. I gave birth to you. But what made you feel like you wanted to open your legs to my husband? Mom. I just want to know what you're saying. Why do you feel like you need to do that? You're saying it's okay for your husband to do what he's doing. I'm not saying that's okay, but you're my child. You are my child. Oh, charmingly ghetto. Hey, it wasn't like I did it on purpose. It just happened one time. What you mean on purpose? Because I didn't want to do anything. So you thought you was drunk or something when you laid on your back? Okay, so you know exactly what you was doing when you were sleeping with somebody that I've been okay, with for 15 years. It wasn't on years. purpose. It wasn't on purpose. He was being nice. And it wasn't so you, you slept with your own accident. Yeah. How does that make sense? I don't know. Explain. Explain. Tell everybody what happened. Tell everybody what happened. Tell everybody what happened. I have a whole other daughter. <laughs> okay, so now I'm a yeah, whole. Yeah, but you sleeping with my husband. Okay. I mean, it is whole I'm behavior. You gonna have to do something with it, or you gonna have to get up out of my house. Well, to you gonna have to get up out of my house. Stay. You cannot stay here. You I, cannot stay here. I don't I give a damn where you go. go. You gotta go. get out of here. Yes, you I'm bugging. Yes, you you bugging. You gotta get out of here. I bet you gonna keep your You don't think that I'm gonna talk to my husband about it? So you gonna stay married? You don't think that I'm gonna talk to my husband about it? Stay married to him, but you gonna put me. You are nasty. You are a nasty girl. You gonna stay married to him, but I got love. Yeah, you do. You do. You weren't thinking about being my child when you lay down, right? Well, right. Well, okay then. I don't. What? what? Right. Okay so then. You want me to abort so, my baby? Yeah. Look out. in the camera. Mom, you finna do? You look in the camera. I'm gonna look in the camera. I can't take you back. I can't take you back. Where you been at? You obviously wasn't. I've been here. I've been here. I birthed you, little girl. I've been here. What do you want me to do about this? You need to get your stuff and get out. Get your stuff and get out of my house. All of it. That's fine. You was going to find out the wrong way. But see, if they had to let me do it, I could have done it like I wanted to. Well, you ain't did I it didn't yet. I didn't want to tell you. You did Why to tell would you do it in the first place is what I'm asking. Like, that's crazy. Why would you even? It's the well, principle of the whole right. situation. You, you don't sleep know, with you your daughter's know. husband. Mm. You want to know the whole truth. That night you picked him out the house and he didn't have nowhere to go. He came over there and your daddy was working late and we sat on the couch and I consoled him and then he laid down and uh, do I need to keep going? I don't want you to keep going actually. That's disgusting. 
That is amazing. Oh my God. You know what? You can keep your number this two. This shit like watching a soap opera. On, and he can keep his stuff going on. Because I'm done with y'all. I'm just done with y'all. I just can't believe you would do that to me. I didn't do it to you. I am your daughter. I like, help. that's... I'm trying what? to help keep your marriage alive. I'm your daughter. Wow. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm alive. your daughter. Why would I you do this to me? that you wouldn't do, and that's what family do. Oh, you my God. You know what? We not family after today. Clearly, no, no, no. We not family. You wasn't, you wasn't my family when you slept with my husband. You weren't thinking about family then, so don't start thinking about I it now. About no, family. no, you were That's wasn't. why I done it. No, you were Oh my gosh. You, you about to make you this not... right now? Yes, I am. I'm recording this. Hey, everybody, I'm recording this because my mom is and I can't do it. That's why I'm recording you. You slept, she slept with my husband. Yes. You are y'all in a hotel room? You know what? Okay. You know what? I'm not going anywhere. I want to know why you did it. I just told you. I don't. I, I don't want to hear that. Okay. I don't want to hear that. I want to hear. I want to hear the truth. I just told you. You know what? You're good now. He came over there. He didn't have nowhere to go. He was talking. He laid down. And you want me to continue? No. Why would you keep going, mom? Do that? Why would you even do that to dad? Like that's just your daddy. First of all, your daddy need to find his own business because. He know he do, he do her too. This is tit for tat between me and him. And but I'm, I'm your daughter. Why would you tit for tat with my husband? This is baby. I said I was helping you. Oh my gosh, that's disgusting. You wasn't helping nobody but, but yourself. You, gave him the number two? you know what? I say the number say two. two. And I'm gonna teach my grandbabies the number two. It's you. You won't even see. The oh, you're wrong. You're wrong. <laughs> you know? No, 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 no. No, I don't want to hear nothing else that you gotta say right now because that. My husband, you ain't even see your grandkids no more. You don't even gotta worry about us. And you definitely don't gotta worry about him. Hey, listen, he been home a lot more lately, ain't he? No, you know what? <laughs> What's up with you? Just supposed to go on vacation. And I remember that one day he was like, I couldn't go. And I remember that same exact day you called me and told me you couldn't come. That's disgusting. That's the day y'all was, you know what? Y'all was creeping out on those times we were supposed to go on vacation. If you had not a put him out the house. You know what? I wouldn't have to come lay in my lap. That meant that y'all two were At together while well, I had his kids and it was supposed to be a vacation. It was supposed to be a vacation. <sighs> mom, now I gotta worry about my mom stuff on my husband. You gonna have to. That's yeah. disgusting. You was Goodbye. wrong. Goodbye. You was wrong. I'm not going nowhere. No, you know what? Man, Get out I'm my not, hotel go. room. And guess what? When I go, don't call me. Now, and I'm going to guess what? I'm going to call dad too. And I'm going to show him this video. And guess what? And I'm going to show everybody else because I'm posting it. Like I said, stuff like this happen in real life all the time, y'all. And they ain't going to never take accountability for it, bro. I promise you. They going to just stand on their square and be like, it is what it is. What we going to do from here? How do we move on from that? <laughs> like, you ain't just do the most foul shit in the world, bro. <laughs> I used to have this eater that was on demand. She would just pull up and get to work. No questions asked. She didn't really like small talk. She would just get straight to it. And that's rare. And what I like about her, she was reliable. Like I could text her early in the morning. I could text her late at night. And it was always the same response. I'm on the way. One time she pulled up and she did what she had to do and she was about to leave. And I was like, wait, do you ever want to like go out or something? I'm not like the biggest dater. Like I'm not out here taking a bunch of girls out on dates, but if anyone deserved it, she deserved a date. But she turned my offer down. She said she didn't want to overstep any boundaries and she liked the relationship we had. And I can respect her level of professionalism. You don't mix business with pleasure. A lot of people enter an organization or a roster and they try to work their way up through the ranks. You feel me? They'll try to go from sixth or seventh man to starting point guard. She was very comfortable playing her role and did it so well that I was taken aback. It's rare you see uns selfish play like that she played about two seasons for me then i've traded her for a complete bust but i don't even want to get into that point is keep talent around you that earns their spot every day every time she came over she reminded me why she needs minutes at the end of the night game on the line nobody else to call who can you rely on to come through that is your person
Hey, you know what's interesting about this dog? That same girl, if he was foolish enough to wife her up, all that eating she doing right now, gonna go out the window, bro. I don't know what it is. Once they secure the bag, the ring, the commitment, bro, it's like they stop doing all of that stuff, man. It's like, think about being at work, bro. As long as your boss keep dangling that promotion over your head, you gonna keep going at it real hard. A lot of people gonna work extremely hard, but a lot of people, once they get that promotion, man and woman, they're going to slack off, man, unless it's just really in them to be a hard worker. Most people will pretend to be something until they get what they want. And then after that, all bets are off. <laughs> but nah, man, your soul will be hurting once you lose one of them. Say when you much rather just be by yourself than actually be with your wife, you got a uh, result to these type of gimmicks. It's that simple, bro. Y'all be annoying a lot of times. Well, not my girl, she ain't annoying, but a lot of y'all, bro. I know niggas who really can't stand their wives, bro. They only with them because they're gonna get half their shit taken if they divorce. <laughs> they try to, they owe her a duty. Hey, I ain't really got too much to add to this, but for the simple fact, he's still hit. You can't unhit. You cannot get unhit. <laughs> nigga tore your ass up. Or he didn't, but still, he got what he needed. Because I guarantee you, he bust. <laughs> what happened in your dating experience to where you're now like, eh? It's a lot of pressure on black men, specifically dating black women. And I love black women. Social media and the culture has put a lot of pressure on us. This could be just based on environment. Mm -hmm. um, when I moved to Atlanta, you know, women here are very entitled. Mm. Um, it's, and listen, I'm not blaming anybody, so I don't want this to turn when into When you say that. entitled, though, break, what does entitled um, mean? I'll say financially entitled. I feel extreme pressure. And I get hit on by white women. I get hit on by all kinds of women. But when I get hit on by black women, I even immediately feel this entitlement of I gotta pay for something mm. me personally I wouldn't take this level of disrespect wow I gotta pay your rent I gotta help you with your car note immediately within two weeks or I gotta I'm just saying what I've experienced I'm not saying that's every woman nowadays if I take somebody on a four hundred dollars <laughs> immediately and I don't even drink so if she drink that's a couple hundred, if the hookah is 45, dessert? lamb chops is 50, dessert. Mm -hmm. So by the time, VIP, Valet. Or Valet, I was just getting ready to say Valet. So we didn't spend $400 for me to see if you like me. Say that again. Mm. So it's like, I'm spending and I'm spending, I'm spending, that's just the first date. You want to go out again. That's a, so I, I didn't spend $1,000 on three dates just to see if you might call me back or maybe text me back. And then because you're a beautiful woman, if you don't like me, you can go get the next man to do the same thing. Now look, I don't want to sit up here and say all black women do this, but you know, if you have any type of social media presence and you see women post certain type of things, then you know, if you was to be studying this, then you would quickly realize that there's a lot of validity to what he's saying, bro. Like I see it all the time. Uh, don't just say hello to me, offer to buy me something. Right. If I need a babysitter and I'm taking time out of my busy schedule, you can at least give me the money it's going to cost to pay the babysitter on top of me, you know, being wind and dying. It's crazy, bro. A lot of women are entitled, dog. It's really that simple. You catch them out at the grocery store. They checking out. Boom, boom, boom. Buy my groceries. Huh? <laughs> like, dog, I'm serious, man. It's a lot of bum activity if you ask me. What is the pettiest thing you've done after the end of a relationship? So I was a cashier, he was a cook, you know, till as old as time, we start dating. Fast forward almost a year into this relationship and he dumps me. Obviously, I cannot continue to work with this man. So I put in my two weeks notice. Um, on the night before my 
last shift, my besties and I were all together. And I was like, ooh, you know, he's been asking for his hoodies and t-shirts and stuff back. So a light bulb went off. He never asked for his stuff back, like, as a whole. He just said he wanted it back. Stop it. Get some help. So I gathered his hoodies, his t-shirts, even, like, the stuffed animals that he gave me throughout our relationship, and cut them up, put them in a trash bag. I then took down every single picture that I had of him, like, hung up in my bedroom, and I cut those up, I burned them. So then I put the ashes of the pictures in this big trash bag full of his like stuff that I'm returning. Then I dumped a bunch of glitter in there. Bruh, chill. Next day, he was opening, I was closing. So I was like, I'm gonna come right for shift change. I'm gonna put this trash bag on his car, like his car. Um, I put it upside down, open. So when he grabbed the bag, you know, everything just kind of like came out in front of everyone that we worked with because we would all leave to shift change together. Anyways, fast forward like 11 years. Um, we've been married for six years. We have two kids together and we are now about to open our own franchise of the establishment that we both work together. I ain't gonna lie, that was a hell of a plot twist, man. The whole time I'm just bawling on the inside. I'm like, damn, bro. Y'all just love damaging the nigga things, though. Listen, after the fact, though, she must have put that bottomless neck on him because, bro, ain't no way I would have went back to her. Straight up, man. It'd have been some furniture movement around there. I'd have definitely damaged some of her personal property, though. Let there have been anything left in my house that belonged to her. It was gonna get tore up though i don't give a damn you want to play on my clothes like that i'm gonna play on your clothes like that this is why a lot of women get away with stuff like this and continue to do it because a lot of you simps stupid i'm not gonna let you get the chance still make them feel like a nigga gonna re accept them no matter how messed up they are <laughs> if you know me for real you know i got two baby moms the first baby mom me and her cool you know she's married in a relationship uh doing great me and her hardly ever have disagreements and if we do we come to a conclusion fairly quickly right but my second baby mom completely different y'all my second baby mom is is is, is over 30. i'm gonna just paint the picture for y'all i'm 26. she's like 33 so you would think she would be a a little a little bit more mature you know what i mean Y'all, that is not the case, bro. We be arguing about crazy stuff, bro. Mother's Day come around, shoot her a text. I said, you know, me and my son, uh, I mean, I said, happy Mother's Day. Me and my son, uh, very appreciative for everything you do. And I got her a gift too. Got her a shirt and, and some shorts, got her a gift. Little Nike shirt, Nike shirt. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's so simple, bro. I ain't finna go all out. She gonna text me, okay. Then she gonna see a long message talking about. I remember when you used to do this for your other baby mama. You used to post her on Valentine's Day. You got her this, got her dad was dropping. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Shit, I'm saying. First, first of all, y'all, she's talking about like four years ago. My first baby mama was my wife. <laughs> I, I mean, I was divorced when I was. You know when I met her, but I'm just saying my first baby mom was my wife. And then second of all, the y'all, I think y'all gotta y'all people gotta understand like when you got one baby mama, you move a little different, and also you 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 kind of enable them a little bit. Some of the bad habits that they do, you enable it, you enable it kind of because you kind of spoil them like right. At least I was, you know what I mean? Like I, I was dropping if my baby my first baby mom called me, I was picking up the phone. Like, what you need, what you want. Like, you know what I mean? I can't necessarily move the same way with two baby mamas. She want to be a spoiled baby mama. Shot it. You got, you had, I mean, you had a kid with a dude that already had a baby mama. Now you baby mama number two. Don't get me wrong. I don't treat them differently. I treat them the exact same. The only thing is I don't treat them how I used to treat my first baby mama when I only had one. You feel me? I'm a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't enable bad behavior. I don't enable crazy stuff. Like back in the day when my first baby mama used to just pop up in my house, 
on, on some argument stuff, I kind of like enabled it kind of. Now, I don't really do that, bro. I, I try and set boundaries and stuff. Bro, first, I mean, second baby mama, baby mama number two, thing number two. Drama every day, bro. I can give y'all, I can give y'all a story time on everything bro if you want it bro y'all want to know something that i noticed in my personal life with women and shit like that bro most of the time when a woman has a big age difference between her and her man let's say she's the elder bro she's not the most mature woman in the world bro let's be real dog a year different is cool right but i'm talking about 26 and 33 that is not normal for a woman to want to date a much younger man than her and then let's be real i know about the wall and everything but 33 is not exceptionally old for a woman it's just not so for her to be finding younger guys attractive and want to be in a relationship with this dude and have a baby with this dude it lets me know something wrong up here dog because most women want a dude that can do something for them and let's be real most 26 year old men don't have their life together so what can you do for her other than lay that pipe right you know what i'm saying travel up and down that virginia real estate i mean i don't know what else she expect from you right so with that being said her maturity level gotta be off <laughs> real talk you know you 33 years old and they love to say that they mature faster than men so couple that with everything i just said bro that's a red flag 33 years old and you want a 26 year old man come on bro 33 she probably ain't even got her shit together let's be real then you ain't got your shit together that should tell you something <laughs> I'm being real, I could be wrong, but in my personal experience, I've never met a woman who date much younger men who got it all upstairs, dog. Just throwing it out there to y'all, man. Do with that information as you see fit.